we're here today talking about Kenneth M. Freeman and the painting behind us right here, Ken did of you. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. Do I really have to? Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> well, we were at the uh, veterans home over by uh, the VA hospital and we kind of tried to visit those guys at least once a year because most of the folks in there, they have no relatives left. And of course, they're veterans. Uh, myself being a veteran, that's the biggest brotherhood on the North American continent. And those old fellas, they paved the way for us to do our service. And Ken joined us this one particular year and he's just taking them pictures like they's going out of style. And uh, he caught me when I was talking to uh, one of the guys that was an old tanker from World War II. And oh my God, we were, it, it was just like I was there with him because that's what I did in service. I was tank commander. And Ken says, you know, I, I just got to get this picture of you. He says, you went through a pose right quick. And he says, let's see if I can talk you through that again. And I went, Ken, I'm talking to this guy. He says, he'll understand. I'm like, oh, jeez. And he took it with a, with a Polaroid. And, I, and I'm going, OK, now you got the picture. What are you going to do with it? He says, I'm going to paint your portrait. I said, you ain't good enough. He says, I'm going to paint your portrait. I said, ah, yeah, OK. Then what are you going to do? He says, well, we can, we can sell the prints, and we can get money for the organization, and blah, 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 blah. I said, Ken, I said, I really don't like my picture being taken. I said, and I understand I don't have any choice now since I'm doing this. I said, but there's a million other things you can do to help raise money for the organization. He says, yeah, like what? I says, for one thing, you can sign the application. You can be my finance officer. He says, I can't do this. The heck you aren't. If you're going to take my picture, you're going to be my finance officer. <laughs> he says, Jesus, I don't know. I said, mm, too late. You're in. <laughs> You're getting uniformed up tomorrow. And that's how Kenneth M. Freeman became a Buffalo soldier. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I, it's very seldom that you run across somebody that's got such a fire 24-7. You know, Ken loved the Old West. It was in him. I mean, it's just so hard to describe it. And, God, every time I talk to him, it's like, I got this idea, we can do this and this. And you gotta come see your pictures now. I almost got it done here, I just need a little bit. Okay, I'll be there. When he finally got it done, I mean, it, it shocked me. It's like, that ain't me, dude. He said, yeah, it is. He said, you got your little bit off finger. And said, thank you. <laughs> and I says, okay, so you're gonna sell it. He says, I'll have a surprise for you a little bit later on about this thing. And I'm like, oh, jeez, man, I don't like surprises. He says, you'll like this one, so, okay. So probably six or eight months later, he says, the surprise is, I got that in the, in the Smithsonian. And I'm going, I'm killing you, <laughs> dude. He says, no, he says, remember who you're representing. He says, well, you told me that I was coming in here. You also told me that those guys never got the chance to talk for themselves. He says, that's why the blankety blank, you're standing here because they're talking through you. He says, we don't have pictures of those guys. He says, so you're it. You're it. People look at you, they will see the original Buffalo Soldiers. I want to get back in my truck. Leave me alone. But he's right. He, he always seemed to find the core of everything. And he was one of the very, very few special people that could put it on canvas. And uh, I miss him. 